We bought this buffet from Facebook Marketplace for only $30. Can you believe that someone was selling this thing for so cheap? First, we've removed the hardware, then we cleaned everything with crud cutter and filled in the chips and dings. After that was dry, I sanded the top of the buffet down to raw wood to remove the scratches and make it all the same on the top. While I was sanding, I also sanded the edge of the doors down a little bit because doors are notorious for getting stuck once you put some layers of paint on them. So I like to sand those down a little bit extra before I paint them. And while I was at it, I also sanded the rest of the buffet to help the paint stick better. And then I cleaned up all of the dust. This paint is so thick, holy moly. So I had to add a lot of water to thin it out enough for it to spray nicely. But hey, the extra water made the paint stretch even further, so that's awesome. I used my sprayer to spray the chalk paint onto the buffet. And then I left the paint to dry. A couple of hours later, I came back to find that you could see the wood grain everywhere I had sanded down to raw wood. And there were more dings and scratches that I hadn't filled. So I filled in all of those areas and then a few hours later, when everything was dry, I sanded it all down. It was after the kids went to bed, so I sanded by hand instead of using my electric sander. Then I cleaned up the dust and I sprayed another coat of paint. After spraying, I used a paintbrush to touch up some spots inside the cabinet and to paint the inside edges of the drawers, and then it dried overnight. The next morning, I emptied out most of the paint and put some water-based polyurethane into the sprayer. The residual paint left in the container tinted the water-based poly, which is exactly what I want when top coating darker colors. And then I sprayed three coats of polyurethane onto the buffet. And here's what it looks like now. Doesn't it look so good in black? I think the elegance of this buffet goes so well with the black. And since it's so elegant, I thought it needed some jewelry. So we added drop pole hardware. What do you think of the new look? Let me know in the comments. Want to turn your hobby into cash? Click the link in my comments to download the free pricing guide that we use to buy and sell furniture.